What's up everybody, my name is Potato and this is another server Saturday. We're going to be kicking off by visiting Lark's 99's Modern Day Farm Barn Auto Wool Farm thing. That's what it says right here on the sign, Modern Day Farm Barn Auto Wool Farm. So this is the Modern Day Farm Barn Auto Wool Farm. And we're just going to come on inside here and just uh, make ourselves at home. It's pretty spacious in here. I like that. There's uh, some pretty awesome chandeliers and a pretty cool fountain nailing all the points that I like I like fountains I like chandeliers I like flowers just got you got everything going in here and I'm just I'm not even 10 feet past the door yet we have some reeds over here I'm not sure if these are decorative reeds or what um, but they look pretty cool I like that uh, over here got some uh, melons so we come on over here. Those cows are gonna get a, a get annoying. I don't think I could live in a modern day farm barn auto wool farm. I think that'd just be it'd be too much. You know, every day waking up and there's just a thousand cows, a thousand Bessies, just like hey, hey, pay attention to us. Um, <laughs> before we go upstairs, let's actually check out what's over in this corner. Looks like we have a bucket, and that's about it. Looks like uh, this is a little. F oh, that's nice. So you don't fall in those little holes. But I guess if you might be able to catch the seeds if they pop down there. Over here, it looks like we have our sheep thing, little sheep sheep hole. We're gonna check that out in a bit. I don't think. Uh, oh yeah, here it is. I was gonna say I didn't see a uh, way down there. Wool collection down below. Shear all the sheep, then pull the lever. And collect wool below trapdoor behind you. Once wool is collected, turn off the lever. Alright, so I don't have any shears on me. Um, let's just make some. Here you guys go. For those of you who forgot the recipe or me who forgets the ID number or how to correctly spell shears sometimes. Um, <laughs> so here we go. Shear those guys. Want some gray? Maybe some of this cool teal color. Uh, let's see. Some of that color. Some blue. Uh, some more blue. Some white. And uh, some purple and green. If I can. There we go. And they gotta, they gotta fix that. I think they said something about fixing the um, the collision problems that animals have in 1.3. Okay, so we're supposed to just pull that and pop on down here to what I assume. Yeah, look at that. All the wool that we just sheared is being thrown down here. And this is where we can uh, collect all the wool that we definitely needed. Here comes the rest of the colors. Let's just speed up the process by going up to them a little bit. Oh shoot, now the blue and stuff all came. I guess it takes a while. I'm not quite sure what system he has um, going on here, but perhaps we can take a better look at it to see if uh, see if we can't figure it out, you know. So let's just give him back all of his wool and those shears. Turn off the lever, and it looks like it's just water behind those pistons. That go underneath these half slabs right here and get washed down into uh, the opposite corner. Which is uh, a pretty cool idea. I haven't seen that at all, but uh, I've never needed to farm wool like that, you know? It looks like this is just, um, just a little cow area. There's no nothing special about that. Alright. Let's go check out the upstairs. Now that we've covered the town stairs. Just a viewing deck. 
It's not bad, it's a cool view. I like the design across the walls and the ceiling. The only problem with Minecraft is that the ceiling is really hard to light up. Hmm. Hopefully there's something for that later on. So it looks like he has a um a tree farm or something up here. That's what I assume it is anyways. I like the, the leaves in between. It's pretty cool. Chickens and Minecrafts or minecarts, why not? So it looks like it's just chickens and a minecart system that just keeps spinning around and around and around. I don't know where the cart there's one of the carts. Over here, that has the chicken in it. Now I'm in it. I don't know where the other cart went. There it is. And we have a cart that's off the off the tracks here. Let's see if we can't push that thing back on there. There you go. Get to moving. So, uh, no real, real, no real reason for for this area right here, but you know, just cause, well, cause why not? You know, sometimes you just uh, want a room full of chickens and just you don't want to just leave them in there all bored. So you give them some minecarts to play with, and that's that's about it. So, anyways, this is Lark's place right here. His a uh, modern modern barn, farm barn, auto wool farm. And, uh, oh, it looks like you got a hole in your window right there because the chicken just escaped. You got a hole right here. Oh, oh. oh, no, he hasn't. I don't know. He's He may be lagging. Hey, are you out of the window or are you just. No, he's out of the window. There he goes. He's, he's out and about now. But that's okay. I'm sure you probably opened that window for a breeze or something like that. Anyways, let's go check out the next. Uh, the next build. All right, so here we are over at Ink Chick's uh, place. I guess this is called a whole village, uh, which is spelt H-O-L-E, not with a W. And uh, the reason being is that it's in a fucking hole. Uh, because why not? You know, just sometimes you got to put a village just somewhere where it doesn't belong. And I'm gonna try to center myself here, and we're just gonna drop. And boop, there you go. We're gonna drop right on down here. Looks like there's two little places. It says my portal. Got another portal right down there. And, uh, okay. Seems to be four directions here. You got a spider here, and that's gonna bother me, so let's just get rid of him. Uh, community shower. Don't judge us. Okay, well, let's just uh, check out the shower first off, because if you don't got a good shower, then this whole place just needs to be torn down. So, looks like uh, everybody can just hop on in and do their business, no doors, no stalls, everything like that. You got some glass walls just so uh, everybody can enjoy it, I guess. I, I would assume. I, I don't I don't know 100%, but that's just what I'm going to go with. Is that uh, just go down there and be like, all right, party time in the shower, and that's it. That's what's going on. A little storage nook right here. Okay. What is this? Cafe Hole. Okay. Not the, uh, not the classiest name. Um, you know, I wouldn't expect this place to have that high of a, um, uh, what is it, a letter grade on their cleanliness. Oh, shit, I, uh, I can fix this. Maybe. It's a possibility that I can fix, th yeah, there you go. Now you got a, you got a beautiful sunset picture right here where you can just be, you can serve all these these dicks that are probably going to be in here just eating all your food and making a mess and be like ah, at least I have my sunset and then you just look over and then you're, you're happy to wash floors flip the lever oh oh well there you go see yeah that way you don't have to you can use the mop to clean the tabletops too and you don't need rags to wash them so there you go nope the door sort of closes on you. And the washrooms back here. Women and men. Check out the men's side. We got uh, some urinals over here. And a pretty sweet looking sink. Over on the women's side, obviously stalls. And uh, another sink with little buttons here. I don't know what these... Uh, maybe the soap dispensers? 
Maybe that's uh, maybe that's what they are. Over here, what is this? In the last little no, we got another little nook over here. Whole library. This is the the whole library. The entire library that's uh, that's ever been a library. Got little areas in here. I just assumed that there'd be like a little area to sit in, just like uh, most libraries on here. But no, this one's like get your shit and get the fuck out, and that's it. To commercial and residential district. So I assume uh, commercial probably would be on top. I don't even know. Uh, I want to check out the bottom part first because I feel like there's more up on top than there is on the bottom. Down here we have a wheat farm, community park, and an animal farm. Animal farm is just that. Some grassy area down here where uh, the animals can play. I like this fence right here. It's like a, a great... It's pretty neat. There you go. You should, you should have jumped through the door when I opened it. I have a nice little farm down here and the community park. Which, uh, oh, I could have gone right through there. Looks just as cool as the other stuff. I like the whole nature underground type of feel, you know? We have a, a babbling brook, if you will, going down the center of it right here. And uh, some sort of, oh, it's like a little, little hangout spot. So this is probably where you go after you grab your books and you're like, oh. Let's just go to the, let's go to the park where there's no sun ever, but that's okay because these people are probably used to it. They're just like, you know what? We, we don't need that sun. It, it was, it's overrated. Now it is when you're, when you've been away from something for so long and just like, yeah, no, we don't really, we don't really need that. I mean, come on. That's, it's whatever. The sun, it's there. It gives light. I mean, we got torches. The sun gives off heat. Those torches also provide heat. It's just like basically mini suns everywhere. That's the suns on sticks. We have a store over here for sale. Nice little window. So I guess the commercial district is actually first, and then the residential will probably be on top of it. Uh, another set of stairs that go down. Whoop. Yeah. Okay. We have uh, a random chicken over here just hanging out. It's probably uh, on watch duty or something. Another, uh, blah, blah, blah. Another store for sale over here has a pretty cool view of the uh, ravine that's right behind this place. Clothing. So over here you could probably see a bunch of clothes, but I'm sure they they sold out because this place is it's probably booming and they're just like, you know, what? we can't keep anything on the shelves. Everybody just is like, you know, I just those are pretty clothes. I just let me buy all of them and I'm just gonna go to probably one of these amazing apartments or whatever she calls them up here and you know just hang out and enjoy my clothes that's it or perhaps go to the dance club hang out over here and uh, get shot down by every woman that you meet that's uh, that's a thing right Got a little a little station for like the DJ place so it's like a soundproof room so you can, well, it's not so much sound soundproof since you got holes here, but it could be. I mean, with a few upgrades, it could be. So if the DJ gets like a request for a shitty song, he's like, oh, thank God. I'm in this room. I won't be able to hear it. And uh, there you go. That's the way to do it. Coffee bar. <laughs> That's pretty cool. A little like uh, espresso machine or something. I like that. That's, uh, that's neat stuff. We have the bakery, the bakery. A bunch of ovens in the back. No ventilation, because who needs it? I mean, it's a bakery. You can probably tough it out. And I think that's it. Okay, so we need to go up. So the stairs for the residential area are over here. And, um, Rapney's apartment. Nice try, get your own sweet penthouse, Ink's apartment, and apartments. Okay, so let's, let's uh, go check out Ink's place. It's pretty high up here. I have a pretty cool looking view. 
Or you can kind of get a glimpse of the sun and be like, oh yeah, that's that's what that sun thing is. Eh, it's, it's still overrated. I mean, it's pretty nice, but it's, it's overrated. Got uh, a community kitchen or so of sorts. And I assume... Probably... Some sort of... I don't know, work closet, maybe? <laughs> Trying to trying to come up with something to, to call it, but I just I'm not 100% sure what. This is the other view station. View station, view dock, view deck, viewing pedestal, viewing hole. It's probably a hole of some sort. It's something hole. It could that's a good or a bad thing. I don't know. It's up to you. Got a very colorful couch and carpet over here to watch TV with everybody. Over here, what is this? someone's room excuse me I don't know if that's an apartment or not I mean, there's no no doors no walls no nothing it's just kind of like you walk in and then there's a bed and a and a TV you know a little bit further up oh wow long ways up looks like uh, the floor oh that's the outside level all right so if you really needed to leave that's uh, that's the fire escape. Be awful if this place caught on fire. Apartments. Apartment for rent. Nice cozy little apartment right here. You come in and sleep and eat. That's about it. So you just come in, you, you eat, and then you pop in back here to, to go to sleep. That place has a double bed though. Josh Lefleur, Joshy or Flowers, yep, that, that's what we're calling you. This is Flowers Place. He has a blue carpet, single bed, and important papers on the wall, and a pretty sweet looking castle painting. Over here is Rob's uh, unkempt, unkept apartment of wonders. Bed looks like a bed. Pretty neat, huh? That is, that is, that is very wonderful. This is truly a place of wonders, and uh, I'm a little amazed. Apartment for rent. This place is a little bit bigger. We have a bigger bedroom. Actually, the bedroom and the living room is probably about the same size. This place right here. Each one's a little bit different too, which I like. A lot of times when people do these apartments and stuff, they'll make them very cookie cutter. And uh, you got a very big map there. I like this one. I like that one. That one flows well. Uh, this is Bearded Pig's place. He uh, he said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna give myself a badass rug, and then a big ass TV, and then he's gonna be blaring it all night like this, watching sh shows about carpentry and stuff like that." Oh, look at him! Look at that. He even has working lights in his place. Everybody else's place sucks. Timer's fancy fucking apartment. All right, so this is Timer FX's place. Oh, look, at, he has a second floor, and like a I don't know what this is called the place. It's like it goes down, but just a little bit. I'm blinking. But he's got a fridge, gives wa gives watermelon, and uh, apples, some chicken, and uh, some trees. I don't know. Maybe those are supposed to be vegetables. I don't know. Uh, over here, he has he has a little light himself. It, this is a loft too. This is just like nope. And this is this is my bedroom where he has, I assume purple and black. I, I don't think it, that's pink. I, I don't know my my wool colors on John Smith because I don't really color wools a whole lot. He has shelves. Timer's place said fuck you to bearded pigs. He said I don't need no TV. Got a sweet kitchen and a bedroom and a living room. That's it. Living room for entertainment and bedroom for entertainment, and that's it. That's all you need. So this is uh, Ink Chick's place. Pretty cool. It's called a whole whole village. It's raining now though, which is shitty, but you know it happens. And uh, let's move on to the next place. All right, so this place is, uh, this giant place is built by restriction. Uh, he calls it, uh, what is it, the Modern Mansion? Uh, I think that's it. 
Restrictions Modern Mansion. Um, it's a lot of modern builds on the server right now, but, uh, but the, not, all of them are really cool. So, garage door control. Let me just press that and break his garage door. And uh, there we go. Now we're in. Uh, can we reset it? Boom! That, that went up way faster than it went down. But nevertheless, pretty cool, pretty spiffy. Is it a hallway? Oh. Okay. Garage door lighting up. Off. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. You got like a zombie or something in here. How you doing, buddy? No? Just gonna hang out? Okay, there you go. So there you go. It's probably a little bit, uh, you know, a little too dark over here. Grunge door lock, up, locked, down, unlocked. Outer door is locked and unlocked. Man, this place is, uh, is rigged. Okay, well, I don't think we're supposed to actually be going through the garage. So we'll, um, venture our way out. <laughs> Probably looks a little bit better on single player. Multiplayer is kind of weird. Walkway lighting. I don't, uh... Oh, is that, is that the lighting? Right here. Got a whole lot of switches and stuff. I unfortunately don't know what they mean. Driveway lighting. Okay. Pond lighting. So dri driveway lighting. Okay, so these went off. Okay. So he does, he does have them set up. The pond lighting. So I guess these are... That's for the lights underneath there. Okay, I get ya. Pretty neat. Oh, I guess this would be the pathway lighting right here. And, uh, these little circles or something in here. Welcome to the Modern Mansion. Read counterclockwise. So I can't, I shouldn't read, I shouldn't read clockwise. I should go counter, okay, okay, well, what if I went like this all the way around and stopped? Where design means functionality. Okay, clockwise. Okay, built by restriction. Dun, 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 dun. One of the first millionaires in Mongoose country. Con country. Contray. Alright, so this is the millionaire of Contray. Mongoose Contray. Door controls. We're gonna just push that shit. Watch that thing pop on down. I mean, because a mansion should be protected by like a giant safe door, you know? If it's not, I just I don't think that you're doing it right, you know? You have a terrible mansion. I hear dining room lights. On and off. Boop boop. I don't. I want to say that those. Those aren't working. Unless it takes a super long time. But. I just want to say. I think those are broken. It wasn't me though. I didn't do it. Dishwasher. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I'll put that back in there. We have uh, a few fridges over here. We both uh, dispense melon. Oh, man, it's hard getting it uh, back in there. Damn it! That's what she said. Anyways, <laughs> over here. What is this? Kitchen lights. Boop boop. Kitchen lights work. Man, it is dark in here without those. We gotta keep those on. I, I really don't know where to start, guys. So I'm just kind of going wherever. I mean, the kitchen, sink, and dis. Oh, okay. There you go. Put those there. But the thing is, they're gonna get trapped on that trap door. How many think you know? If you put the trap doors on the other end, it would be all right. You know, keep that in mind. Oh, oh shit. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, wow, what's going on? It's like you just made that all obsidian. So I guess this is the disposal, and then if you're like, okay, I need to wash the dishes, so you're just like, boop, 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 boop. But then your dishes just go right into the, the, the disposal, you know? Okay. What else? What else can we do on this side of the house? We have the patio over there. 
Let's just take a quick peek at the backyard. Looks like we have a few things going on over here. We have a building being worked on over here in the corner. What is this? Mob farm work in progress. Not part of the house. All right, so we're not going to check it out. Over here we have the security room that we've already been in and that hallway that I was talking about. We got a bathroom, random bathroom over here. It's pretty sweet. Whoop. Ignore that. What happens when that breaks? Okay. Hallway ceiling lights. Boop, 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 boop. Pretty nifty. Let's turn those back on. This is a pantry. It's a big old pantry. Oh, look at that. So much redstone and so many so many moving objects in here, you know? So we just made our little loop-de-loop -loop from around the kitchen. I don't really know what the... Oh. Storage room. It's not bad. It's like a little, little closet that you can walk into, put a lot of junk and... Stuff that you're never gonna use, you know. Garage over there, hallway lights. I'm just gonna assume most of the levers are lights. Entertainment room. There's a big old theater room right over here. Got big old armchairs. And fountains, too. And I assume lights, of course. Why not? Makes sense. That place gets real dark. The sun deck. Huh. It's just a big old big old deck out here to, to check out three biomes. Oh, I thought he said snow in one of them. Maybe I read swamp as snow. I don't know. But a jungle, desert, and a swamp. Oh, I guess uh, my brain was just like, no, there's a snow biome there. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a snow biome. Not at all. Laundry. You do the laundry right next to your home theater? That's crazy. Do, do, do. We didn't even, uh, we didn't even finish the bottom floor first. Oh, well, we'll get to a bedroom. Pretty sweet looking bedroom. For those of you who actually are a part of Mongoose Country, he uploaded the actual floor plans of this place. So it looks like he modeled it after a real house. Closet and bathroom. I don't know what display case. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know what this is, but it's something. Got a shower right here. Man, that's just, that is just four things of water just gushing down there. Most people would just have one and let it go down. Nope, he said, nope, I'm going full enchilada, the full. I want the high powered shower. Sink switch. That's neat. I like how most of. Oh, I got fooled. Most of his stuff is, um. is so you could turn it off as well, you know? Is that the same bedroom? It is not. A closet and a bathroom. Tiny little bathroom right here with the same high powered shower. The same sink and the toilet. Probably got a deal. Closet. Again, a little display case right here. There must be like a redstone torch or something behind that wall. I was like, why would this. Turn on and off because of that. Has some crazy reeds over here because you know it's modern and some I don't know. We have lighting. I like the floors and stuff. I, I was gonna say it's like, did this part of the thing not fucking light up or or load up? I thought it was like a chunk error. Please be careful about falling mobs. Oh okay. I guess he's been ambushed a few times and. Wants to make sure everybody else is safe. Pretty cool looking living room that we haven't even checked out yet. But I'm pretty sure we're almost done with the, f the top floor. Hallway lighting. Another bedroom. 
I assume master bedroom. Bedroom lighting on and off. I have some sort of weird bookcase thingy. A bathroom. That's kind of smaller than the other ones. You have two. That one's the shower. That one's the sink. He didn't bother labeling those. He probably ran out of signs. He's just like, you know what? I'm just not even gonna do this anymore. I'm gonna label my display my display case, and I'm I'm out. That's it. That's all I'm gonna do. So that's pretty sweet. I half expected the the place up there to turn into a TV. The bookcases. Okay, stairs lighting on and off. So it looks like you could turn off all the lights in this place. Basically, it even looks like these are hooked up via redstone which would be uh... look at that even that is hooked up so that's pretty neat I like that have a cool fireplace over here I like this uh, this coffee table too it's kind of um, embedded into the into the floor it's pretty cool sound activated lighting I don't, uh, I don't get it so you put Let's put, um, I don't know, mall in here. Someone was listening to something else. Hey, why don't you come inside? It's 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 awesome in here. Nah, I think your light system is broken. It's a nice soothing song though. In fact, we're going to play off on that song and I'll see you guys next week for the next Service Saturday where uh, I forget to check someone's pool house because their house is too big. And um, oh, I should probably turn that back on. That's all the lighting. <laughs> Real quick before we leave this house, we're going to check out the pool house gazebo for your outdoor resting needs. Pretty awesome. Right over here we have the micro loft and greenhouse. The micro loft, that sounds awesome. Little lofty area over here. Building lights. Little place to hang out over here. What is over here? That's just another way of getting in. Another place of getting it in. Upstairs, we have the farm. The greenhouse that he mentioned. Pretty sweet. Not so much a pool house as it is a farm, but uh, nevertheless, still very cool. And this is the water electric turbines, day or night sensor sensors. Pretty awesome. So, good job, Restriction. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. For those of you who uh, are worried about the podcast, it's probably not going to come out for a few more days. Uh, Twitch was actually over this weekend, and I was helping him build his computer, and I'm just just exhausted from it. And um, another little thing, little piece of information, promotional news. Uh, we are doing a little chip in thing right now to help some of us get to Sniper Goose Wedding, which is in about, I think, two and a half weeks, somewhere around there. And um, more details about that are up on the website. So if you're interested in maybe uh, getting a way into Mongoose Country, there is benefits as well to that for those of you who donate. Uh, a little bit more than the average and anyways I'll see you guys next Saturday